Hi, and thank you for your interest in learning about EasyCBM, a universal screener and progress monitoring set of assessments available to students in grades kindergarten through eighth. EasyCBM has many reports for which teachers and students can quickly view student progress on benchmark and progress monitoring assessments, as well as identify trends over time in their learning. In this video, we will explore these reports and understand the data provided in each. We will also look at how teachers can create student goals and add interventions within the platform, as well as view the student experience for online testing. Let's begin. There are a few helpful reports for teachers to access within their login. The first report they will see when clicking the Reports tab is the Benchmark Risk Rating Report. This report shows each student's performance on a benchmark assessment at the class level. This report is also accessible at the administrator level. Teachers will see the season, subject area, and all students or a group of students to view student scores. The score in bold is the raw score. The percentile of the score is on the far left. The student scores and percentiles are highlighted according to the student score. The legend appears at the lower portion of the report. Students who score in the white or green range, those scores above the 26th percentile, are students within grade level expectations range and exhibit low or no risk for not meeting the standards at the end of the year. A yellow highlight, a student in the 11th to 25th percentile on the benchmark measures, typically indicates the student is one year behind in instruction. While those students scoring in the 0 to 10th percentile are oftentimes two years behind in instruction. In the Suggested Progress Monitoring column on the report, EasyCBM provides a suggested time frame and measure for which to progress monitor the student through probes. The student's lexile level following the benchmark assessment is also included on the report. All of the blue links are clickable, including the column headers, and the data can be exported in CSV format. At the top of the benchmark risk rating report are the measures assessed and blue links for which to compare the student's performance on each administration. When one of the measures is selected, the following report appears. Notice the scores that appear. These students in this example took passage reading fluency in the fall, winter, and spring. The farthest column on the right identifies the amount of growth between administrations. Here we can see that Leilani grew 47 points from the fall to the spring administrations. Again, the data can be exported in CSV format. Teachers can also view student performance on the risk analysis report. This report shows each student's level of risk for not meeting yearly grade level expectations according to each benchmark assessment administered. Click on one of the measures to view a related interventions report. The group line graph report shows how a group of students performed on a particular benchmark assessment or progress monitoring probe given during the school year. Up to 10 students will show on any one report. To access this report, click Reports tab, select Group, and click the group of students. Finally, select the curriculum-based measure. The student progress report shows how a student performed on each of the assessments given throughout the school year. Student reports can encompass one year of performance or show longitudinal growth with graphs of multiple years on the same report. To access the report, click Reports, then the Student Reports tab in the Benchmarks area. Select the building and teacher at the administrator level, the student group, date range to display, and the measures. Click to generate the report for the selected students. The report shown on the left is an example of such report. This student took the basic math benchmark assessment three times this year, and he got correct 31 questions, 33 questions, and 34 questions respectively. The blue dots on the graph indicate the number of questions correct, and the location indicates the comparison with the percentile score. The gray line shows the 50th percentile or average score on the assessment over time and how the student performed in comparison. The report on the right shows the progress monitoring probes that the student took for letter sounds. The x-axis indicates the assessment administration dates, and the y-axis displays the number of letter sounds per minute the student got correct. The colored line showed the percentage norms and the student score based on the norms. The student progress report is within both the teacher and administrator views. 
The individual student graph report shows a student's performance on progress monitoring probes over time within the same school year or over multiple school years. Goals can be created as shown here, as well as the addition of goal statements. Trend lines according to the performance bands display to identify the student's progress in comparison. Current interventions and frequency can also be included on the report. Links to view the actual assessment for online administration will be accessible in the View Test column. This particular example report displays the results for a grade 1 student for the measure letter sounds. The gray line is the 50% average for a student at that time. The dates along the x-axis show the assessed dates, while the y-axis indicates the number of letter sounds per minute. The colored lines relate to the district set performance bands. We can see a change in performance from December to January in this example, when this student received a change in intervention strategies and time increased with such intervention. This report also shows the student's rate of improvement, or ROI, for each probe. ROI shows the student's growth between measures. Specific to teachers is the summary report, item analysis report, and the individual student graph reports, all located in the Groups tab within the Reports area. After selecting the students and measure for review, the summary report displays. This report shows the distribution of scores for the assessment selected among the group of students. In this example, four students correctly answered eight or fewer questions on the Proficient Math Benchmark Assessment. One student answered 25 to 32 questions correct, and the other two students in the group answered 33 to 40 questions correct. The below graph displays the same group's performance on the three benchmarks during the year. Further down the page is the item analysis report. Here, teachers see the question number on the assessment, the type of question asked, and the domain, how many students answered that question correctly, and the students who did not answer it correctly. The individual student graphs appear below the item analysis report, and the blue links are live. It is in this area in which one can view the actual assessment and see the questions the student answered correctly and incorrectly. Teachers can create goals for each student following a benchmark assessment and prior to administering a progress monitoring probe. Goals can be created for each measure in which there is a skill deficit to determine how well the student is responding to the provided instruction. To create a goal, click within the Teacher Login, the Individuals tab, the student's name, and the Goals link on the right side. Click the icon to enter the information about the goal. The goal score is the raw score that you would like the student to earn. When three data points are entered for the student on the selected measure, an aim line will appear, starting at the midpoint of three scores and ending with the goal. Goals can be edited at any time. Watch the goal setting tutorial to learn more about creating goals. The goal is for students to be at the 50th percentile within the reports. The goal will show as a royal blue line on the reports. Administrators and teachers can also add instructional interventions that the student is receiving within EasyCBM. To begin the process, click the Interventions tab along the top and click Create Template. Enter the description information about the intervention for a particular student or group of students, the RTI tier, length of intervention, as well as the curriculum and strategies that will be implemented. One can add into the template any additional strategies not listed in the template. The intervention template can be applied to one or more students and can be edited or deleted at any time by clicking the aqua blue button. Additionally, multiple interventions can be applied to one or more students. Click the darker blue button to apply the interventions to multiple students in the class. Click the eye icon to preview an intervention created. Once a student has received an intervention, edits to the intervention template should not be made. Instead, deactivate the current intervention template and log the date in the notes area. Then create a new template and apply it to that student. Only edit an intervention template if the strategy has not yet been applied to the student. Be sure to watch the intervention tutorial video to learn more about creating interventions. Administrators and teachers alike can access the EasyCBM Parent Report. The Parent Report provides benchmark and progress monitoring assessments performance for each student. The top portion of the report displays the student's scores for each assessment given throughout the year broken down by measure. Student score and associated percentile display. 
The highlighted percentiles are colored based on the customizable performance bands designated in EasyCBM. Each graph displays how the student performed each time an assessment was given, and the gray line in each graph is the 50% average for a student at that time. The student's score is the blue line in each graph. This report can be batch printed. Administrators will load three files to inform the system of the location and administrators, teachers, and students. One CSV file will contain student information, one teacher information, and the third links the students and teachers together. Files can be set to upload automatically. Once the files are loaded, the teacher will see their assigned students after they log in with their unique username and password. Students will log in on the left side of the screen entering their teacher's username. They will then see the screen on the right and select their name and assessment. If you would like to try out EasyCBM with your team, we are more than happy to provide you with login information for your district, diocese, or school. EasyCBM has a few features that are helpful to students testing. In the math assessment, students may click either English or Spanish to answer the question in either language. The option for Spanish is turned on at the district level within the system settings. Also, each item throughout the math assessment includes a read aloud option of the speaker icon with both the questions and answer choices. The speaker option cannot be turned off and in this way, the assessment accurately measures a student's math abilities rather than reading abilities. The student will click Next once they are ready to go to the next question. Clicking the Next button auto-saves the student's responses. If, if students need to log out for any reason, their responses will be saved. Students will need to have headphones available to take the math assessments. All of the questions in the reading assessments contain the student's name at the top right corner, along with the item number the student is answering, and how many questions in all are included on the assessment. The option to increase the font within the reading passages is available as well. To learn more about EasyCBM, check out our additional videos on an overview of EasyCBM, information on the benchmark assessments and progress monitoring measures, reports for administrators, two additional programs also part of EasyCBM, and how to order and receive EasyCBM training. Thank you for your interest in learning about EasyCBM. Please contact your assessment consultant or visit us at riversideinsights.com to know more about how EasyCBM can support your students and elevate their learning potential. Thank you and have a wonderful day.